Sid Wilson, everybody who has come to understand the tourism industry understands the contribution that Sid Wilson has made to that industry in Colorado and indeed the nation. That Colorado and the Denver is a tourist destination is in large measure a part of his determination and his drive as a retiree <laughs> to make sure that we do this. He's had at least 5,000 different careers in his life, all of which have been centered around this notion, how do you educate people? What are the facts that you can present to people that help them understand their story, that help them understand Colorado's story, that help them understand the American story? That's what he's done. He's done it so well. Sid Wilson, you know, not only is his son Theo Lucifuri Wilson, one of my favorite poets and good friend, but as a small business owner and the lessons that he teaches young and upcoming entrepreneurs and the, again, another catalyst for history using his bus tours to educate and teach people and just continue to give back just sets a tremendous example. So Sid came to Denver originally to, um, well, he was in the military initially and went back uh, to New Jersey where he was from and I think at some point really realized how much he loved Colorado and came back out here. Sid started a private guide in 1991 after having a career in the aerospace industry here in Denver and I think he saw an opportunity at that point to uh, bring people uh, to our great state and to show them around and he did a lot of work with developing the African American Heritage Cultural Tours that we provide on a regular basis to families that are coming here to explore Denver. And one of the things that uh, being in this type of business allowed me to do was commodify a lot of the history around here in Denver, and especially the history as it pertains to the African American experience in the Rocky Mountain West. Now there are two other organizations that I've been involved with Sid in, and that's his, his leadership uh, position with the Beckworth Outdoors uh, organization, as well as the Lincoln Hills Historical Organization. You know, I don't think anyone has kept track of everything that he, he, he touches. I, don't, I doubt if he does himself. He has a little old book and somehow keeps his appointments and is everywhere he's supposed to be. But Sid has just developed the reputation of being the go-to person for that information. I mean, to me, Sid is extremely inspirational, and he's probably one of the most creative people that I know. Sid's amazing. I mean, nobody can believe him. Uh, Sid the Squid, he's like an octopus. He has tentacles out into so many things. He usually makes a lasting impression, a good impression on people that he meets. I was surprised. I feel extremely honored to be recognized for uh, what uh, the work that we've been doing all these past years and it came as quite a surprise. He's a force, he's bigger than nature and he's full of it, full of life, full of energy, full of joy and full of that determination to keep going. That's Sid. Sid, <laughs> you're the man, that's all we can say. Thank you for allowing us to recognize you and thank you for allowing us to be a part of your continued story as one of the great explorers in Colorado. We love you and we appreciate you so much. And I want to take this time to congratulate you, Sid, on your this award from CCD. Hey, senor, good luck. This was fantastic and well-deserved. Congratulations. Sid, I want to congratulate you on receiving the CCD Leadership Award. You deserve it. After 25 years of knowing you and knowing your involvement in leadership positions in the history of Colorado, Congratulations. Congratulations, Sid, on your award. It's well-deserved, and I'm so honored and privileged to work with you on a regular basis. Keep up all the good work.